uh, when I get into my classes, I learned by teaching at Columbia College students that during their 12 years in school learned to hate science, be hostile to science. So I decided to make them comfortable by telling them that I can take a break when they want me to take a break. So I tell them that if I talk and they feel that they are saturated with me and they cannot listen to me anymore, then they should raise a sign like that saying saturated and I will shut up and take a break. And then I try to show them examples and I have to teach a concept in science. So in order to, for them to understand that they can tell me to shut up because they are saturated, I raised this glass and I said, what do you see here? Everybody says water. I said, how do you know? How do you know it's not alcohol? How do you know it's not ether? How do you know it's not benzene? All of them will look like that. And slowly, slowly, we come to the conclusion that all what they see is a glass with a clear liquid that they don't know what it is. But by that stage, I tell them that it's water. And I said, and now I'm going to dissolve sugar in this water. For example, I take sugar, I pour it in, and I mix it. I already poured in too much, I hope not. And I mix it, and I mix it till it dissolves. And then I ask them to look again. What do we see? And what we see again is usually a clear liquid. Because when the sugar dissolves, it doesn't change the fact that we have a clear liquid and the sugar is completely dissolved. I tell them that this is when they still can absorb what I'm talking, so this is like the water dissolves the sugar. But then I add more sugar, and all of them are doing the experiment with me, and we stir, and we stir, and usually after adding a big amount of sugar, the sugar doesn't dissolve anymore. Once the solution is saturated, they all of them have a glass with water, with sugar, they are adding, they are stirring and stirring and stirring, and nothing happens till they put it in the hot, on the hot plate. When they put it on the hot plate, the sugar dissolves and they get again a homogeneous solution. This means that in a higher temperature, more sugar dissolves in the water. By that stage, when I ask them, should I raise the temperature of the room, maybe you will absorb more on what I'm saying, a laughter, a relaxation, everybody is rolling and saying, no, we will fall asleep if you raise the temperature. And this is when I tell them that the correlation doesn't work anymore. But meanwhile, I, re they, I review what they learned already about a clear solution, a homogeneous solution, saturation point, and now we realize that the saturation point changes with temperature. The higher the temperature, we can dissolve more sugar. So we dissolve more and more sugar, we bring the water to a boil, so we have much more, we do a super saturated solution, and then what we do is we take something like this stirrer with a string hanging here with some weight at the end and we put it here and leave it to cool off after it was boiling. And what happened, crystals of sugar appear. We can just put a stick in and what the students are forming is a rock candy. So they learned a lot during this experiment. They learned about a, liquid, a pure liquid, about a clear liquid, about a homogeneous solution, about a saturation point, the dependence of the saturation point on temperature, and then they learn about crystallization, that cooling off recrystallizes the sugar 
and they are getting raw candy. They even can eat the end of this experiment. And all that in just telling them that they can relax when they don't understand anymore because they can raise a science saturated. So there is different ways that you can teach a lot of material in a fun, relaxed, and relevant way. And here is one way of teaching everything you want about a solution, doing experiments. Sometimes we add water co uh, food coloring, so everybody has a different color. It becomes very artistic, beautiful, how the crystals come out. And it's aesthetics, it's clear, and it's a fun experiment.